Koiyo, iyo nui o roa iyo taketake iyo matua e Ko te pū te more te wei utaka tarea Ko te wānui te kūne te whei te kore te pō Heke mai ki ngā tangata nā rangi rawa Ko papa ko te tīma tanga o te ao Tanga roa wai noa, tanga roa wai tapu Nau ko te ngāwari, nau ko te wai tapu Nō reira hene moana, tanga roa whakanua Tia whakatapua e, haumi e, ui e, taiki e Tēnei mātou miha tu ki a tātou kua tai mai nei i tēnei rā he honore he whiwhi nui ki a tātou i tēnei rā ki a tai mai mana ki te awa nui ki te toha toha ki a koutou te tahi o ngā kaupapa nui. Nō reira ka huri au ki te reo ki a hokona reo te makatānara i tēnei wā. I'll go to the language that helps me buy McDonald's. Kia ora tātou. Um, it's an honour for Manaki Tawanui Māori Research Trust. We're from Tauranga Moana to be here today um, uh, to share some uh, one aspect of many kaupapa that we deal with within Tauranga Moana. Um, so therefore, I just want to acknowledge everyone here today and um, introduce everyone to one of our kaimahi, one of our whānau, Regan Fairley, who will talk about a very important kaupapa that we are undertaking at this time. Kia ora tātou. Tēnā koe. Just before Rion leaves, um, some of the kōrero yesterday was about doing things differently. So just before he goes, we're going to get a bit of a selfie with everyone in the background. Kia <laughs> <laughs> um, So I think just firstly, before we get going, um, just like to thank Rion and our other kaitiaki from Tauranga Moana for making their way up here and for those that, that made it possible for them to come here. And really this project has been about them. Um, so to have them here is, is very special for us. Um, so if you just have a look at the picture, I think we'll start with talking about that. And I think it really encapsulates what kaitiakitanga is all about. And here we have a whānau going out. They've walked off the marae and they're about to go to their boat and get some pipi to feed the whānau and feed the manuhiri. So in this story, there's kaitiaki that need to look after their, their kai gathering grounds and look after the modi of those grounds. Because if the modi is degraded, then also the kai is degraded. And that degrades their mana. Because now there's no kai to take back to their manuhiri, and there's no manakitanga. So in this, in this picture, I think it really, is, for me, encapsulates what kaitiakitanga is all about. And just funnily enough, there's a trail of sediment leading from land into the sea. So that may, may hold some answers for degradation later on. So our project has been around developing a web app and I suppose a contemporary way of empowering our kaitiaki. And Jim Sinner and Sean Awatere talked yesterday about this waka taurua and how we need to balance the holes. And so we've tried to develop this web app such that we can get resources to our kaitiaki so that they can make good decisions when they're at that table. Okay, so kaitiaki right from the ground level, so those that are working on conservation projects, all the way up to those that are dealing with resource consents in the co-governance um, arena. So through our talks, and this is something that was quite common through all the, the talks yesterday, was about actually getting out to talk to our kaitiaki, engaging with them, wānanga with them, listen to their stories. And what we've found is that we not only need to connect them to the tools, but we need to connect them to each other. And we also wanted to enhance their projects by linking them to Western Science tools. But also, again, balancing those, those waka holes so that they're empowered to make really good decisions. Um, this one here is for Meredith Cook and the comms team, actually. You would have noticed I didn't use the template on the first slide, but it just didn't quite go with the decor. So we've got it in here. We've chopped it up a little bit. Uh, so our project's part of the um, Tangaro program, and it's called Te Tāhuhu Matatau o Te Ao Tangaro. So straight out of the proposal, it's about empowering our kaitiaki with mātauranga from Aotearoa and beyond, investigating Western science literature regarding marine ecology, spatial planning, monitoring and aquaculture, and mediating that transfer in the proposal it was an online training and resource centre but we've now come to understand that these young people who develop these sorts of programs, it's called a web app. Our team here at um, Manaki Tawanui is made up of Kane Taiapa, uh, Dr. Anthony Cole, Waiari Aramika and myself. So again, talking about that demographic that 
I suppose, is coming into this realm and how they interact with kaitiakitanga is going to be a new arena. So we're not a part of that demographic in terms of the 20-something-year-olds. So we employed a young 20-something-year-old to develop our app for us. And actually, he's just sitting down the back if, if Aaron would like to stand up. He's in, oh, here he goes. So, so there's Aaron. You can see he's young. Um, so if any of you pretty ladies would like to talk to him later about developing a web app, that's Aaron. But really, it's not about us. It's about the kaitiaki. It's about their stories. It's about going and talking to them. It's about wānangaring with them. It's about going out into their, their beds and feeling their stories, feeling their pain, seeing the degradation, and trying to understand how we can help that. And again, trying to link those, that mātauranga Māori with Western science tools so that we can get enhanced outcomes. And in this picture here, it's, we talk to them about, um, I suppose, where the degradation was happening, how we can go in there and help them out. And we've used, in this example, GIS and aerial photography to map out some of their traditional gathering grounds. And we've set up the monitoring such that they replicate kāpatakai, or cupboards of food, such that they can go into their cupboard, have a look what's there. If it's struggling, they can put a lock on it. If it's not struggling, then there's a green light to say that it's OK to go. And I think, quite simply, that's how we tried to approach this project. So previously, you were looking at, I suppose, a conceptual design of the web app. And again, what we were trying to do is connect our kaitiaki to each other and connect them to the tools. And so now you're looking at the actual um, web app. And unfortunately, we didn't want to just put the, the live app on, on screen just in case the Wi-Fi didn't work. And so this is just a rebuilt version of it. So again, thank you, Aaron, for all the hard work and Anthony for the hard work that you've put into developing this. So here you're looking at some kaitiaki and they're out on the um, Paritaha Pipi grounds. And again, we just wanted people to, to interact with this and be inspired by those stories. To have a look through in a net, Netflix-style carousel of all the different projects that are happening. To be able to see the different projects and the different types of projects that are out there. And again, be inspired to click on these and find out more about them. And so if they've made it this far, you're able to, to read about the projects. Um, you can watch video on this now, so Aaron's told me yesterday that that's all working. But down the bottom, um, they can click on and it's, oh, you can see it on your screen. So there's um, little applications that they can click on to look at the tools that have been successfully used by others. And one of the questions that came up yesterday was, how can Māori trust link tools such as EBM and figure out what they're all about. And so this here is, is a way for them to be able to access those tools, not only just the general tools that are available, but tools that have been used by others successfully. And again, each of these projects will have different tools that have worked successfully for different people, so they'll be able to see a, a range of tools that are, are available. For those of you that, that may be in this room and you're interested in accessing some of that information, you may know what you're looking for in terms of ecosystems-based management. And so this function here is more of a direct link to those tools. So you have the ability to go in and type whatever you're looking for. We've got a map layer. And over time, we'll start generating, or well, hopefully we're able to get live links into and and Kaitaki can put up where they are, put photos up, be able to post their observations, and over time we can build a repository of, of all of this information. And this part of the site actually, hopefully in phase two, we can develop this into a, so that people can zoom in and fly around and just see what's happening in, in places like Tauranga Moana. In terms of the networks, this is somewhere 
that I suppose is, is new ground and it's something that's came out of all the talks with our kaitiaki is how do we get in touch with other researchers? How do researchers get in touch with us? And this is probably something, something that's a little bit out of the scope of this project right now. But also, how do researchers get Māori tools? How do they understand what kanohiki te kanohi is? How do they understand what kotahitanga is, whanaunatanga? And these are some tools that, that may be useful, Māori tools that are useful for us as researchers. And so hopefully into phase two, um, I don't think it's going to cost us much to develop this, probably two million. But <clears throat> oh, Aaron's saying two and a half million down the way. But that's somewhere that we want to move. That's somewhere, some more scope for where this application can go. Um, also, the beauty about this too is that the web app isn't standalone. So it's able to draw information from different databases and if we can get the protocols in terms of usage right, Hapu, Māori Trust, Iwi Trust are able to have their own databases where this can pull information from. And so it can be, all well, that information can be housed separately and used in a way that that organisation wants to use that information and protect it in a way that, that's comfortable for them. Um, so yeah, that's, that's me and that's our web app and our tool. And over time, I hopefully we can, we can get to talk to some of you about being involved in this project. I think we're ready for release mid next year. Um, so we're going to bring up our kaitiaki again. It's awesome to have you all here. And um, kia ora. Uh, kia ora tato. it certainly has been a privilege today and as we do as Māori we're going to finish off with a waiata. Uh, this waiata is from Tauranga Moana and it really captures what it's all about in terms of protecting our taiau, our moana for the future generations. So I'm going to invite my fellow whanau to haramai. Tauranga Moana Ahi! Ahi! Tina. 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 Tina.